All right, Microsoft Word 2013, and I'm going to show you all the different bullet options that are available. So if you would like to have the line of text bulleted, you just go ahead and select it. And then under the Home tab, go to the Bullets button and click on that. The default button is the circle, but you also have other options, such as the circle uh, with, that's not filled in. You can go to a square, different logo, diamonds, check, or arrow. And as just hovering over it actually changes. Once you find the one you want, you can just go ahead and click on it. After you have the line that you want with the bullet in it, you can hit enter and you can type the next line and it just keeps adding bullets to each one until you double click. When you double hit enter, then the bullets stop appearing. If you'd like sub bullets to show up for subheadings, just go ahead and hit enter after the line you'd like and then hit the tab key. And when you do that, you'll see sub bullets, which uh, in this particular case uh, have the circle that's not filled in. And you can keep doing that and it'll just keep changing to the next thing that you see and it repeats itself. You can also change what the sub bullets look like by going back to our button and clicking change list level and you can see we're now down to the fourth level and that this is the one that's highlighted. We can also change the bullets for, the, for various different levels. You can also define a new bullet. And you can change the alignment. You can click on a symbol. Choose anything you'd like. Click on a picture if you'd like to choose a picture. And you could also choose a font to go with it. When you find the one you want, you can see the preview, and then you can click OK. And now we see our new bullet. So that's bullet options in Microsoft Word 2000.